Good morning, everybody. This is Sandra. It's a deal. Well, it's a deal. Cherry. <laughs> I keep putting my name in there. Um, coming at you with a haul that I did at Walmart this morning. First of all, I wanted to say congratulations to United States um, to everyone. Um, I, uh, congratulations to our 46th president, Joe Biden. Um, and I understand I'm not going to get political. Um, and I understand there are people out there that are Trump supporters. Um, at this point, I just feel like we should all come together and um, love one another <clears throat> and just congratulate everybody uh, or each other on our new president. And, um, you know, he's going to be a president to everyone, not just, uh, you know, the blue, not just the red, to everybody, to blue and red. And he's going to be the president of the United States. We are all part of the United States. So um, I just want to congratulate him and then, um, you know, just extend my uh, prayers to, you know, everybody and just pray that we can all get along. So that's enough about that. So anyway, you guys, I was in Walmart this morning. I had to do a grocery pickup. I did an order online and they ended up sending it to another Walmart. So I had to go to that Walmart first before I picked up my nine o'clock groceries. So I was there. Um, turns out that they canceled the order and I didn't, stupid me, didn't look at my phone to see that the order was canceled. So with that said, um... I went and um, been wanting for the longest, since maybe two years ago, to find these sweats. Every time I go to Walmart, I always go too late, and they're always sold out of my size, or they don't have that color. And, it, and believe me, it's the first color that goes. But <laughs> anyway, it is um, sweats. <laughs> so I was able to find me some sweats, and I love the ones with the elastic on the bottom, and they also have pockets and a drawstring and i'm so excited about that you guys i'm so so happy finally found my gray sweats and i usually wear gray sweats in like a tank top you know or, or not a tank top a long sleeve t-shirt um just to lounge around the house since we're going to be around the house a lot um also i decided to get my brother a pair of gray ones i think i got him maybe two last year or two years ago i think i got him um a gray sweatshirt i mean sweatsuit and so, yes, I did purchase him an, a sweatshirt. He's big on top. He's got that belly, uh, but he's more, he's not even that big up top. I don't know why I said that. He's got a belly. But, um, yeah, so I got him a 4X sweatshirt, which is going to be extremely big on him. Good. It, it, it'll be okay. And then he's smaller on the bottom, so I got him an extra large on the bottom. This is just a darker charcoal gray. And so he'll be happy with that. He has short legs, though, so that's good that it has the elastic because he does. My brother has short legs. So anyway, I got that. And sorry for all the shaking, you guys. Oh, and this is my sweater that I got on Shein, you guys. I need to start modeling more of my Shein sweaters. Sorry, I got some baggy jeans on that I got from, um, got these from, um, oops. That was just fat. <laughs> I got these from, um, these jeans from Thrift Store. And the Thrift Store, they were $4. And they're just the elastic. I've never had a pair of elastic uh, waist jeans. And when I saw them, I said, you know what? I'm going to get them. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm trying to film from another angle. Just kind of like a catty angle. That's my little birdcage here, you guys. I got that at Ross one year. Um... I might get rid of it. I don't know. I got it for a, a prop at a birthday for a birthday party. Um, it was supposed to be a tea, and then um, the, the theme was like a tea party, and I ended up not using it. So I'm gonna get rid of that. And I have a bunch of other stuff I'm getting rid of over here. So anyway, don't look over there. <laughs> so anyway, you guys, uh, another thing I found at Walmart that. Um, I've been looking for, every time I do an online order with Walmart by my house, they never have it. And so they finally had this one. And this is just the uh, Dawn Platinum Foam, five times more grease absorption. And this is supposed to cut grease really good. And so I'm excited about finding that. 
I showed you my sweats already. Yeah, you guys, the sweaters is Shein. <laughs> Don't sleep on. They're so soft. Oh my gosh, they're so soft. Woke up this morning, you guys. It was so nice. It was nice and cold. And it was raining outside. I was just like, oh, thank you, Jesus. California got rain. The local mountains have snow. Hour and a half away, there's snow in the mountains. They had it on the news this morning. Everything was just white. And um, just an hour and a half away, right, Wood? Um, hour and a half, maybe two hours. Um, yeah, so California is getting snow and rain. It is cold. I woke up, it was like 56 degrees. Um, yeah, and it's supposed to be getting colder at night in the 40s. For California, that's that's cold. I mean, I've, we've gotten to the 30s. Um, I think last year we deep, dipped into like 30s. I think the lowest was like 36 down here. But, I mean, we've never had snow down here. Two hours away in the mountain, our local mountains, LA mountains, yeah. <laughs> People always say, it doesn't snow in California. I mean, it does, yeah, it doesn't snow in California. Yes, it does. Our local mountains are full of snow. And Big Bear's always got snow, like below zero. They're always below zero. Oh, I didn't know I got two. They threw in three. I didn't ask for three. Why? I don't know why they gave me three. I did not ask for three. Dang. I did not ask for three of these. These things were expensive. Anyway, I ordered sugar-free um, hot cocoa because... <laughs> We just talked about it. But I don't, don't remember ordering three. I thought I ordered just two. I mean, one. I didn't even know two. Anyway, so whatever. Then, of course, I'm running out of Folgers coffee, so I had to get more of the coffee. And <laughs> y'all don't laugh at me. My mom, my lips are so dry. <laughs> and this weather, that's how I know it's winter or, or fall because my lips stay crusty and because we have to wear a mask I can't put nothing on it so anyway um yeah so my mom used to make the best gravy during Thanksgiving every year her gravy was amazing <sighs> every time I try to make gravy it just don't work <laughs> it just don't work so with that said I had to buy me some jarred gravy <laughs> So, yeah, I bought some turkey gravy. So, if you guys don't know, I bought a small turkey breast. I'm going to be cooking that probably in a bag because I want it very moist. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> very moist. So, um, yeah, I will be cooking that and putting my gravy with it. I'm, I don't know what my spread's going to be. It's got to be low carb, so i got to get really creative. But I'm thinking now, by the way, which brings me to this. Today I will be picking up my new iPhone. Um, I'm getting an iPhone 11 Pro. So yes, I'll be able to do my YouTube videos off my phone again. And I want to set it up to where I do a um, mukbang um, Thanksgiving setting. And I'm going to my, you guys have seen my tablescape. I'm taking three plates away and I'm putting all my food and stuff on the table. And I'm going to, because we're, I'm going to have a virtual Thanksgiving with my family. They're going to put up, they're literally going to put up an iPad because I'm the only one that's choosing not to come. So they're like, okay, we'll put an iPad up and that'll be your cool. I'm good with that. So the, and which sucks because we play games and stuff on Thanksgiving and Christmas and I'll miss out on that. But that's, I mean, I got to stay safe. I'm, I guess I'm the most paranoid in the family because I'm going to stay away. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to do a we're going to do a virtual Thanksgiving with them. And then I'm going to go on and do a mukbang also with you guys. <laughs> I might do the mukbang first and then go on. Um, I don't know. I can't have a both at one time in film. So anyway, back to the video. <laughs> it's going to be fun though. I said, I'm going to be a little creative. So time, I needed time. Remember I was talking about getting all my seasons and stuff for the holiday. So I did pick up some time. Time is hard to, number one, time is hard to find. Number two, time is expensive, especially when you're getting it from McCormick. I was trying to find the big cheap ones, but I don't know. People have already beat beat me to wall or beaten me to Walmart and got all the good seasons because I feel like it's a struggle to find anything now. 
I did order two big, big things of pumpkin. However, they didn't have a big can, so they substituted it with four small pumpkins. Uh, Libby's pumpkin puree. Let me look at the carb count on this. Ten. I was hoping. Oh, three fiber though. Oh, that's pretty good. So seven. Um, so what I'm going to be doing this year, again, to cut the carbs, um, you know, I'm trying to do a new way. I'm not trying to let up on the holiday and say, oh, it's the holiday, because that's what gets me personally in trouble. So I'm trying to continue on with my low carb. Um, why is this so different? I'm trying to um, continue on with my low carb throughout the holidays. So what I'm going to be doing is a pumpkin pie minus the crust. So it's basically going to be a custard, okay? But that's okay because I can still do my little whipped cream on top and, you know, what have you. Um, so, yeah, the crust carries a lot of carbs. So, um, And then I'll be cooking with stevia and I have other sugar, sugar substitutes that I'm going to be using um, for other things that I make. So, anyway, I did get four cans of the uh, Libby's. Um, pumpkin puree and it has to be the puree not the pumpkin fill the pumpkin fills where they add all that sweetness the sugar and stuff in it then I bought eggs too you guys but I did put that away um I bought my butter since I, I am baking bread for my family still they like my pumpkin my um my, well, they like, I usually make a pumpkin bread and a banana bread, and then sometimes I'll make it for neighbors. And I have these pans with the smaller loaves in it, so I think I'm going to make some smaller pumpkin breads and then give one to my neighbor and different people and stuff. So I had to get my butter together. I might need to get more of that. Then... Um, cream cheese. I'm going to be, I have cream cheese in my refrigerator that I bought from Walmart and I let it go bad. Um, so I do want to try to do a low carb. I'm thinking if I can do a low carb cream cheese cheesecake without the crumb things on the bottom, um, I want to try that. If I do that, then I won't do the pumpkin pie. Um, crustless pie. So we'll see. So I got these. Um, let me see how many carbs are in this. Two carbs. I know cream cheese doesn't have a lot of carbs in it. So it's two carbs to this. So that would make it um, for the whole, you know, um, it would be nine carbs. So um, like I said, we'll see. I'm on Pinterest currently trying to figure out what I'm going to do, but it's going to be interesting. And then I want to do the um, three ingredient peanut butter cookies. Um, three ingredient peanut, three ingredient peanut butter cookies. Um, regular is one cup of sugar, one cup of peanut butter, and one egg. You guys try it. Unbelievable. You literally. You would swear flour is in it. It is not. However, I make mine with stevia, and so I'll put. Um, only thing is, Stevie has this hint of aftertaste, but um, I do have Splenda and all that tough stuff too. But I am going to do, because I have Stevia, I need to use up. Um, and so I make the peanut butter cookies um, with the Stevia. So I usually use on that, I'll use like maybe a half cup, well, maybe a third cup of the Stevia or half cup, just depending, because you don't want that overbearing bitterness taste. Um, so I would do that an egg, and then a cup of peanut butter. And sometimes I'll double the recipe. And it makes really good peanut butter cookies. So I'll probably just do one thing. It makes about, I want to say it makes about 12. 12 if you use like, I have one of those um, tablespoons that is like a circle. So I usually scoop that out. And then I flatten it down with a fork. So I usually make these little ones. So I can usually get about 12. It's just me. But I want to be able to put that in my little dessert thing. So, um, yeah, that's what I'll be doing. <laughs> and then the last thing that I got, I always forget what I get. Oh, the last thing I got was these chicken wings. Chicken wings are so expensive, you guys. Oh, my gosh. So, um, they were like $10 for a bag. So, uh, this one was like 5 something, but it's pre-cooked chicken wings. And, mm, I don't even think they're chicken wings. They're probably like those little ones that are chicken meat or whatever they call it. Um, so anyway, these have a carb count of three grams, which is not bad. And that's per four serving container um, four. So, I mean, this will probably last me about two, three days. Um, 
you don't get much in there, but I mean, it's all right. So you guys, last night I made, um, oh my gosh, I have this new thing that I do. Oh, and they had to cancel four things. There were four things that they in my order that they canceled totally. Um, I, I don't remember what it was. But anyway, yeah, so what was I going to say? Um, crap. Oh, last night, I have a new recipe. You guys. I mean, it's not new. I've done it similar, but um, I got foil, and I had bought tilapia fish and some stir fry. So instead of frying it, you put it in, you spray the bottom of your of foil, you put it in a pan or a cookie sheet or whatever you want to put it in there, put the vegetables on top. I put two pounds of butter on it, and I seasoned it with salt, garlic seasoning, pepper, bay, old bay. Um, I put a little bit of basil on it. Then I took my fish and put it on top, and I had thawed it out. So you put your two um, fish thingy, fillet, whatever you call it, on top. And then you season that old bay on top with garlic, onion, pat of butter on each, and you roast it without being covered. You cook it. I let it kind of brown a little bit and then you cover it and then it just steams oh my gosh you guys it was so good oh and when it's all done you cut a lemon in half and squeeze the lemon on the top <sighs> it was so good it is like one of my favorite new quick recipes that I do now and so I think the next order I should have gotten more fish while I was there but anyway um, that is my, one of my favorite quick recipes now. I do want to try it with other fishes like salmon and stuff like that. And even, oh, and then also, I know what I did. I had some uh, crab meat that I had in the refrigerator. And um, so I took little bits of that crab meat with the stir fry, took little bits of that crab meat and, and stirred it into that. And it just kind of gave it all that seafood flavor. It was good, you guys. It was so good. You guys have to really try it. But anyway... Um, that's it, you guys. That is the end of my haul. Um, I don't think I got everything. Yeah, that is it. But thank you so much for joining me, you guys. I'm going to do another, um, uh, video tomorrow to show you guys what I got, my new phone that I got. And then, um, over where I'm getting my phone at the Best Buy, there's a Dollar Tree next door. So I am going to stop in there and do a little bit of shopping and see what they have. And so whatever I get, I will be sharing my haul with you guys. So anyway, you guys, thank you for joining me. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday. Stay safe, stay covered, stay protected from this horrible disease. And let's continue to pray that we get through it and, you know, just say a little extra little prayer. You know, I was in the car and teared up just thinking about how the holidays are coming and how so many people won't have a loved one there with them, you know, and it's just, it's overwhelming to know the amount of people have, that have passed away from this virus and how many people this holiday will not have their loved one with them. You know, um, I didn't have my mom last year. Um, my mom passed away November 3rd, and I just celebrated her anniversary. Um, not so celebrated, but uh, kind of, you know, remembering her. But, um, you know, I have to say, you know, I, I feel bad for the amount of people that are going to have so many family members that are not there with them this year. So let's say a prayer for them, you guys. Um, yeah, it, it's almost like bittersweet. And then you, you, I get caught up in the excitement of the holiday. And then I kind of come down because I think about how many people won't have their families. And today, you guys, that's another thing. Pray for their families. And then also today is, um, what do you call it? Um, I can't remember where you do something good for someone. So I'm trying to get creative on how to do that. Um, they were talking on the radio on how, um, what do you call it? Act of kindness or whatever. I can't remember the name of it. But anyway, I want to try to do that today. I want to try to go out and find um, a way to... Uh, you know, to, to give to someone. And I want to I want to try to challenge people to go out there and do that throughout the holiday. You know, um, I feel like God has blessed me so much to be able to work at home, to still be able to have a roof over my head. I mean, if anything, I'm able to save more money. Um, 
I, I just feel like I'm in a better position working from home where there are people that didn't have that option. There are people that lost their family. Um, you know, I, I live alone. I have a job. Um, I'm able to save, you know, a lot of money. Um, I go out every week and have no problem buying my groceries. And I feel like God has blessed me so much that I need, it's time for me to bless someone else. So I was thinking, um, I want to go to a grocery store and, um, you know, I don't know, like you see a family that has a bunch of kids that are getting groceries, give the cashier 20 bucks and say, put this on their tab or something, you know, just something like that. Um, I went to Starbucks one day and was in my car and got up there and they said, oh, the person in front of you paid for your, twice, the person in front of me paid for my coffee. And I, I mean, I just want to do little things like that throughout the holiday to bless someone, you know, just to, you never know. It could be big. It could be little. You never know when, you, you never know what happiness you're bringing to a person. It could be somebody that's on the brink of depression or whatever and the littlest thing could make them happy like I experienced that being on the phone at home you know people that have I mean I work for the court I talk to people with warrants I talk to people with you know that are upset because they have a new job and something came up on their record and you know when you help them I had one guy was like oh thank you so much thank you thank you and you know I set them up with a quarter day and try to assist them as best I can I can't give legal advice but I try to give him as much information as I know that I can legally give him in order for him to help his situation and that's such a good feeling that I feel um, when people are happy um, and you feel like you're making a difference in their life. These are these the livelihood, you know, and just because somebody makes a mistake does not mean that they're a bad person. These people have warrants from back when they're in the 20s and here they are in their 50s. I had a lady calling, she was older than me, and she goes, yeah, back in 80 something, I had this on my record and I'm about to get my real estate license and it came up and, you know, these things never go away, but people change, people change, you know, and these are things that are affecting them. So, you know, you try to give as much information to help them as possible to make a difference in their life. And I feel like sometimes that that's why God blessed, you know, I haven't worked on the phones in years. I've been in the courtroom. And so being at home, obviously, I can't be in the courtroom. So I'm on the phones. And I feel like it's God has blessed me to be able to stay home. And he wants me to, in return, bless other people. And so I try to, you know, I try to be on that phone helping people as much as I can. And of course, I'm not doing anything illegal. You know, you just try to give them as much information and direction as you can um, without giving legal advice, you know. So, um, yeah, you guys, it's so funny how my screen, all of a sudden I get color. All of a sudden. But, um, yeah, so I just feel like, you know, throughout this holiday, I do want to give back and I want to try to make an impression on people's lives. Um, I said I want to go to the grocery store and try to buy extra groceries and give to food banks. Um, I want to try to, I got to try to do as much as I can to give back because God has blessed me so much. And I believe when God blesses us, we in return need to be blessing others with God. You know, it's not just a blessing for us. It's a blessing for us to pass on to others as well. And that's what I feel like I need to do. Anyway, that is enough of that. <laughs> so anyway, you guys have, again, have a wonderful, wonderful Saturday. Please stay safe, you guys. Let's enjoy our holiday. Remain uh, social distancing, you guys. I'm sitting here watching New York, the streets of New York is crazy filled people are celebrating people there is conf you know i thought i saw confetti um it's crazy times square is packed people are celebrating my niece called me her and her friends are at a coffee shop celebrating she said her whole neighborhood you know and she lives in a really nice neighborhood and um she said everybody's celebrating it's, it's, it's just so nice, you guys. It's, anyway, stay safe, you guys. <laughs>
God bless you. God bless America. <laughs> All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.